to strip this red ring active 320 electric shower down. It's an 8.5 kilowatt. So, never actually done this model before, so I think we'll start with the TCO. These are flat blade, so. I've got to be unbolted off as well, so I'll just get a tool to do that. There you go, it takes a little bit of time but it comes out to test it, it's gone to continuity. Don't worry about the owner's reading as long as you get a, a buzzing noise. So yeah, oh yeah, that's working. It's electrically intact. We we're saying three ohms for a reason for some reason, so it needs cleaning a bit but right. So you can't get to the wires underneath there. Then ones are already soldered on. from this side so to remove the tank you'd have to take it off the wall so it's not the best design in the world but it's one side out at least Oh, should be out too, but... So you've got a mixture of positive drive, a mixture of flat-headed... ...nuts. <laughs> Bad design. That's all I know about that. There's your outlet, overflow. All this lot seems to be connected to the bottom of the tank, so the flow switch. Right, well, I might as well leave all that on then. So
I don't know if it's an older one or I don't know the date it was made but not very nice to work on. We've got a massive tank with built-in switch and flow. All that works. Got the thermal cutter, overflow pipe, inlet valve, the backing plate. I'll just test these. So both of them elements are good. That's it then. Not the best to work on, makes a bit of a mess. Need poly drive, flat heads, nuts, and to remove it off the wall if you want to change the tank, so pretty hard to work on.